In past years, every semester at the Stafford Fine Arts Center closed with a juried student art show. So how to do this in a time of social distancing and isolation? This semester, we were all challenged um, with the COVID-19 virus and the pandemic, as well as our quarantine. And so that brought up issues with our traditional face-to-face um, -face student exhibition. Um, and so a team of us got together. It was a mixture of faculty, administrator, administrators, and staff members um, to kind of problem solve what we could do so we could still have um, the student show, um, but use um, platforms such as social media um, to kind of show and have an outward showing of the exhibition and the work, as well as incorporate other um, types of uh, technology that we have access to at HCC um, for the submission process and so on and so forth. And so my team and I came together and we worked for two weeks to problem solve this out. And eventually uh, we were allowed to have an Instagram account, which is very exciting for us. Um, and that was granted to us as well as a Facebook account. And we chose to use the Instagram account to show the work. So we'll be using another wonderful um, technology that HCC provides for us, and that's the ID Loom. So we'll be publishing the direct link to the Instagram account um, when it goes live. Uh, so since all of our classes and all of our primary means of communication with our students this semester um, is through Canvas, we're utilizing uh, the features that are available um, in Canvas to do that. So what we did was we created, we used sandboxes, which are the, it's a term that's used for Canvas where you can create a course before you publish it live. It's, it's essentially where you play, right? Like sandbox. Um, and so we requested multiple sandboxes and we're using each of the sandboxes and we're giving them over to our faculty who are affiliated with the galleries. And then they will kind of shepherd the students through the process of the submissions of the work, as well as their uh, photo release forms uh, and their artwork information. We also are using it as a means of instructing them on how to document their work using their digital phones, uh, smartphones, and digital cameras. So we're also using it as a, a means of, of truly teaching our students how to document work. And the whole process really reflects upon how artists, working artists, uh, submit their artworks for exhibitions online. Uh, the, the difference between this exhibition and the traditional student show is that we decided to not have the work be juried this year. Uh, so every work that is submitted um, will be curated by our faculty to make sure that they fit within the dimensions, um, also to within the project parameters that the uh, faculty have given to them, and then they'll be uploaded so that the work won't be juried this semester. So that's, that's a little, it's a little different um, this semester. But we're hoping that it'll get everyone very excited about the opportunity to show all the work that they've created, especially, I mean, all things considered, you know, this is a very challenging time for all of us and the parameters and, and our access to our studios and equipment are completely gone, right? So it's kind of forcing us to work creatively under kind of like restrictions. So I'm excited to see what the students can creatively come up with, the solutions that have come from that. For HCC Beat, this is Randall Williams. Thank <laughs> you.